Well, we know it's been an active weather pattern for us, and it's still going to be, but it's February, and it's central New York, right? Well, the deep south is locked into a very wintry pattern like almost never seen before, and that includes Texas, where our good friend Jennifer Sanders is now. Back home, probably thinking you'd escape the snow and cold, didn't you, Jennifer? <laughs> Yes, absolutely. And funny story, when I before I left Syracuse, I gave away all of my my totes, my boots, confidently thinking I would never need that down here. And here we are today. And I am in need, but you know we're we're making it. And it's a, a pretty dire situation. What you see on the national networks is definitely reflective of the situation here now. I mean, it's it's very cold temperatures. It's yeah. snow. It's ice. I mean, how are people handling this? Because again, they're not used to it down there. Exactly, Jeff, and to your point, one of the county judges here, he held a press conference two or three days ago, and he said, you know, I've been here 60 plus years, never in my life have I experienced temperatures like this. I've never experienced the ice, nothing. So in reality, we just don't have the infrastructure or the resources to really address these issues. And, you know, we have state lawmakers now calling for hearings, trying to figure out why we have to do the ro rotating power outages, you know, things like that, just to make sure that the state has enough supply to uh, provide power to everyone. And about probably now, I think two and a half million people are without power across the state. This is such a widespread issue. Wow, and we're looking at just how paralyzing it has been for everyone. Um, how much can be done though? Because, you know, you don't have the snow plows that we have, the salt, other equipment to deal with uh, wintry conditions. And I think, you know, that's the question that everyone is asking. So now we have on our network a, uh, a press conference with local leaders and they're figuring out ways to really help people. They're opening warming shelters and just providing. We have a, a problem with people experience, experiencing homelessness here. So uh, they're trying to figure out, you know, what to do with that population as well, while on top of trying to figure out how to help people who have lost power. People have lost water. I told you all during the break. You know, my parents, they're filling the tubs now with water because SAWS, that's the, the water authority there in San Antonio, they're about to cut off the water. So this is a really, really serious situation, you know, um, something that we've never dealt with before. And I know back in my time, probably years ago when I was in elementary school here in Texas, if a snowflake fell, mm. we would shut everything down, you know? So just imagine now the magnitude of this with the ice and the, the snow on the roads. It's just, it's impossible. I, I'm not sure, Jennifer, what the uh, schools were doing uh, up until now, if they were in person, totally remote, whatever. I mean, what are they doing? They've got to be obviously not in in school buildings. Are they learning remotely? What are they doing? And and, and a lot of them don't have power, right? So what do they do? Exactly. You know, and that's a, a great point right there. So initially it was a situation where everything was 100% virtual because a lot of kids were in school. They were doing in-person learning, but now they said we'll transition to virtual, but people don't have power. I have coworkers who don't have power. And in all honesty, I don't know if I told you all this, but I'm staying in a hotel right now, just down the block from my station. Uh, and that just is a testament to how dangerous the conditions are outside. And hopefully, I just talked to my meteorologist uh, probably a few hours ago, and he said, we'll see the 40s tomorrow, mm. but still, you know, Wednesday night, we'll see some more freezing rain. And so it'll probably be until about Friday or Saturday that things really warm up and, and get back to normal. Yeah. And just to give you a little perspective, so the week prior to this and the week prior to that, 70s and 80s here in Austin. <laughs> wow, I mean, wow. it's beautiful. You know, and everyone was sending me pictures from the Northeast saying, oh, it's snowing. And I would send them pictures back of, of sunshine and all of that, but now, you know, we're, we're dealing with this, and like I said, we're just not equipped to handle this type of weather event. All right, we gotta ask you this, because, you know, we know you're a Texas native, but you did spend, <laughs> what, about a decade here in Central New York. Yes. How much did your Central New York experience help you out now, getting through it? That, Christy, great question. Mm -hmm. It has definitely helped me, and I, I'll be honest, what we experienced Sunday night, Monday, it was probably just, it would be considered a mild storm in central New York, but again, here it's very different because we haven't seen these type of temperatures or ice or anything like that. I was prepared, but I think I had got so accustomed to the 70s and the 80s and the sunshine that I, I got a little, some people said I got a little soft, and I, I think <laughs> I certainly did, but you know, I just remember the important things that I learned in central New York in terms of how to drive. I gave away my snow tires, so here I'm just 
trying to navigate uh, the world as best as I can. But I learned a lot in Central New York, yeah, and it is it we is toughened you up. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you terribly, and you look miss beautiful. You we yeah, miss you. We do. Yeah. And, and please, um, Jennifer, please be safe down there. I know you're yeah. still out there covering news, and it, it is a dangerous situation. You, your friends, your family, everybody down there in Texas, we, we wish you all the best. And thank you so much for joining thank us. You. I know you guys have been working around the clock down there. All right. Thank you. I'm sending you a hug through the computer. Be good, Jennifer. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye. Love you too. Bye.